There she is, lovies. I'm so gosh darn pleased with this. I just love, love, love it, love it. I, uh, let's see, how, what, what happened? <laughs> Um, I put my vintage papers down. The vintage papers were from the flower flower book collage pack. And of course everything will be listed um, on the blog and the link is down below in the description below the video. But I put the vintage papers down and then I used a combination of Prussian blue and black carbon black and just kind of did this rub to kind of get this chalky feeling. Um, and I, I knew I didn't want the background just completely black because I knew that I wanted to have some kind of separation between the focal point and this. So that's why I added that Prussian blue. And when I did that rub on there, oh man. And then I sprayed some alcohol on it and rubbed it up even more. Mm, makes me happy. And then I used my stencils. I say it again, st use your stencils as your guide. The stencils were the background and it kind of gave me an idea of where I wanted to go. And it, it helps you kind of start the mojo. Um, and then and then you can kind of embellish and go, you know, here, there, wherever, and take it further. But it just starts that process of you getting a visual eye for where you want to take the piece and that kind of thing. So I used um, the flower drawing, I think the name of it is, and flower game five. I used the doodle circle stencil. And then I used my um, old classroom font stencil and just played. I used, again, my fine line applicators um, with um, fluid acrylic, water, and airbrush medium in them. Gesso as my white. And these are all uh, DecoArt matte medium or DecoArt products. Gesso, matte medium, and fluid acrylics. And... Yeah, pretty simple, fun, easy, lots of detail, but but I wanted it to be very um, like simple. I didn't want there to be a lot of detail. I wanted it to be kind of graphic and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, I just love it. I positively love it. So this uh, was brought on by this week has just been crazy. Um, and crazy, and I, and, and I'm just like, I had like a full-blown panic attack and all kinds of stuff. Um, assistance on vacation. It just was, I had, t I mean, tons of orders and all kinds of stuff and custom pieces and creative team and I could go on, but we, I won't bore you. And, um, I just, I wasn't getting, I had a lot of deadlines and I wasn't, I wasn't about to meet them. I wasn't even close and, um, I just, I had a panic attack and I'm thinking, what in the heck, what am I doing? And so, um, I just had to stop and take a step back and I was so super stressed out about everything and the dog, the dog is barking, <laughs> um, and so I was super stressed out about the deadlines and everything. And you know, I'm the boss. I can I can determine what happens within my business most of the time, but sometimes I can't. And I was just angry and grumpy and just you name it. I was feeling every emotion in the book. And I just as I was coming in, I was like racing into the studio to I just finished one thing, got some orders off, came back, talked to a client, rushing in the studio to get the next project deadline done. And um, on my blackboard outside my door is I have well, I have like a small blackboard outside my studio, one of my studio doors that says, "Take a risk." A woman's place and I've talked about this before and it's that that phrase has been on that chalkboard for probably 16 no maybe 10 years one of my kids wrote it and it was at a time when I was beginning to talk about what I wanted it's probably 15 years what I wanted where I wanted what I was thinking what my vision for my life would be would be to encourage women and to paint soulfully and be able to be able to paint and encourage at the same time and so my kids said take a risk mom 
you can do at a woman's place or whatever and we had been dreaming about what it would be called back then it was like brick and mortar now you know it's it's all online and everything but I save that as as a moment to remember in these times when things are crazy and I have to step back and I have to go back to this place of gratitude of at one point I was dreaming I was dreaming about what I get to do every single day what I'm doing right now I once was dreaming about I once was hoping and planning and thinking if I could get there I you know and life it doesn't matter what you do um, there's always going to be stress and there's always going to be deadlines and things and stuff but my word for you today I say all that that was a whole long story for um, I say all that to say don't give up on your dreams don't keep dreaming even if they seem completely outrageous even if things get in the way even if you're stressed even if you you have deadlines and things and stuff keep dreaming keep writing it out I wrote I have so many journals of what my business plan looked like, what it would look like in a day, what I would make. And to, at the time it seemed 100% outrageous. And I am living it today. So my friends, wherever you are on your journey, if you have a dream, don't give up. Don't get, don't, don't let the stress and the strife and all the stuff stop you in your tracks. Don't give up. Keep going. Write it down. Take the small steps. Um, do the hard work. Meet the deadlines. Do all the things that it takes to make this happen. Because it's so worth it. Even in the midst of the cra one of the craziest weeks I've had in I don't know how long, it's still worth it every single bit of it is still worth it so loves dream and dream big and I want to say write it down don't just think it right there's something about what happens in our head and when it comes out and we write it down not type it but write. it's a physical brain activity um, I wrote I read a book years ago that talked about this it's called write it down make it happen and that book changed my life um, so my friends, dream big today. Have a wonderful Sunday. Get some rest and always, always know that you are loved.